Hello folks, welcome to Coders Den. Today we are going to continue our learning path of machine learning and statistical analysis. And today we are going to introduce to Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is the most popular Python package for machine learning. Although there are other packages for machine learning, but if we talk about Scikit-learn, it is the most popular one and the main package which is used for machine learning. Scikit-learn contains a lot of machine learning models and it also provides functions that are often needed for machine learning workflow. If I talk about the basic function which is used so often, the train test split, this can be implemented manually. But Scikit-learn is a package which provides this function. So basically, it keeps us away from reinventing the wheel. So doesn't it sound really a helpful package which makes creating complicated machine learning workflows very easy for us. In this notebook, we will use California housing dataset in order to make predictions and in order to learn the scikit-learn package. And our dataset contains the median house value for each census block group in California. So let's start. Firstly, what we have done over here is that we have imported the datasets which are available in scikit-learn. So what we have learned up till now regarding scikit-learn is that scikit-learn contains the machine learning models, the functions and the datasets which are really helpful for machine learning engineers. So from that we are going to import the California housing dataset. After that using fetch California housing function we are going to get the data in the form of a dictionary. In the feature matrix X, we are going to access the data in our dictionary. After that, the target vector of our data set would be accessed using this target key. So in order to get the description of our data regarding the features our data set contains, how many samples our data set contains, and what is the target vector, we are going to pass this key to our data dictionary. So let's run this set. So here you can see that we have around 20,640 number of instances, or we can say that these are the number of samples over here. And if we talk about the attributes, we have eight numeric attributes over here, along with a target variable. If we talk about the attribute information, we have mad ink, which is medium income in block. And subsequently, if we talk about latitude, which is the house block latitude. So here it means that we have data of around 20,640 census block group in California. And if we talk about the target variable over here is the median house value for California districts. So it's pretty clear over here that in the feature matrix, we have the n number of features which are going to be these features, Mad Inc, House Age, Average Rooms, Average Bedrooms, Population, Average Occupation, Latitude, and finally Longitude. And if we talk about the target vector Y over here, it is going to be the median house value for California districts. So it's pretty clear over here that what is feature matrix X and what it contains and the target vector Y. So if we look at the scenario, and the previous video in which we discussed the types of machine learning, what type of machine learning we are using over here. We have a feature matrix and a target vector. Your answer would be supervised learning. Because we have a feature matrix X and corresponding target vector Y. So we are going to train our model on a feature matrix X with the number of columns and the features which it has and we are going to predict the target vector y over here and then we are going to evaluate our model so here we are going to implement machine learning models as classes and with the classes what i mean that we are going to implement object oriented programming principles and scikit-learn do relies on object oriented programming principles it actually implements machine learning models as classes and the user creates objects from this recipes. If we talk about the ridge regression, 
we have a ridge class which represents the ridge regression model. Subsequently, if we talk about the linear regression model, it also has corresponding class. So here we have to understand that to create a ridge regression object, we have to simply create an instance like we do in the Python. Please note that the class names used over here in scikit-learn and subsequently in Python are going to be in camel case. If I talk about linear regression, it would be like this. L would be capital and R is also going to be capital. Now moving forward to this alpha equal to 0.1. What is this alpha equal to 0.1? Alpha over here is a hyperparameter. And please note that hyperparameter and parameter are really a different domains. Hyperparameters are the model parameters that govern the learning process. And in terms of hierarchy, they reside above the regular model parameters. And hyperparameters can't be learned and the parameters are really learned by our model so our features or you can say our feature matrix x moreover hyperparameters control what values the model parameters are equal to after undergoing training lastly the default values that scikit-learn uses are usually a good set of initial values but this is not always the case you can always tune the hyperparameter values according to your model performance. And by tuning the hyperparameter values, we stop at the point where the, our model gives a better performance. Moving forward, scikit-learn also refers to machine learning algorithms as an estimator. And there are three different types of estimators, namely classifiers, regressors and transformers. Classifiers and regressors are basically predictors because they make predictions using our feature matrix X in order to predict the target vector. The transformers are really helpful to transform our data according to our requirement. Programmatically, if we talk about scikit-learn has a base class called base estimator. That is basically mandatory for all the estimators to inherit. And the models inherit an additional class too, which is regressor mixin, classifier mixin, and lastly, transformer mixin. And the inheritance of the second class determines what type of estimator the model represents, whether it is a regressor, classifier, or transformer. Lastly, we are going to divide the estimator into two groups. There are predictors and transformers. Predictors contain classifiers and regressors, and transformer is a separate group. We are going to discuss predictors and transformers separately and into a wider detail in the next videos. So if you are following this learning path, please make sure to follow this GitHub repository. We have all the required code in this learning path mentioned over here. You can easily fork this repository using GitHub. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our channel. I would be uploading a lot more videos in this learning path. Thank you.